Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Wednesday evening. Thank you guys all for jumping on tonight to our um, CEO Chick classes. I am very excited uh, to join you ladies tonight uh, from all over. I mean, I know we had um, lots of people signing up for these classes uh, that we are going to run over the next few weeks. I know we're probably all getting a little stir crazy um, being in the house or being, you know, just with our kids the whole time. Hopefully you've got some family time in, you've been able to enjoy some time together. Uh, we did things as a family we haven't really done in a long time, so that's really been great. But in addition to that, um, I've been able to, you know, just really learn how to rebalance some things, and that is really um, excellent. All right, so I want to just jump in here today because we're going to have a lot to discuss right now. And please feel free as we're going through, put your questions in the chat. We'll definitely try to scroll back through and get through everything. I do believe, um, and I'll answer questions as I definitely go through this, but listen, ladies, we will recover from this. Um, the question is, are you ready? And so, man, this is such a unique time, um, such a time as this has come. And let me tell you, there is great strength in opportunities. And that's really what I'm here to talk about tonight, is the opportunities that are here and about. I know you're hearing things on the news. I know, um, honestly, I just feel like it's been a lot fear-driven. Is anybody else feeling that way? That a lot of what you're hearing is really fear-driven. Y'all can certainly talk to me in the chat. I can see you for sure. But listen, come on, guys. From fear, there is no reason for us to be fearful. We have always recovered. We've always done things and, and come back from them. And the truth of the matter is those that are fearful right now, those are the people that are really shrinking back. But those that are going to stand up and be bold are the ones that are going to come out of this even stronger um, than they were before. And, and again, I know it's scary times. There's definitely people sick. And I know we've been praying for them. I hope you guys have been praying for them. But I want to really just jump in tonight because there is a lot of opportunities in these times. And those are the things that you want to see as we go through this time. So let me tell you guys a little bit about who I am for you, those that uh, know me in the CEO Chick Network. My nickname is The Money Lady. I am the CEO Chick's financial advisor. Um, I am a licensed financial advisor. I work for a company called Edward Jones. I'm a partner with that firm, a limited partner. And so, you know, I focus every day on wealth strategies and retirement income strategies, legacy planning and estate planning, building business retirement plans, um, focusing on entrepreneurs and, and business owners. And even with all of that, how do you protect yourself as you're going through all of those things? And, and that's kind of my focus. I'm, I'm constantly dealing with my every single day. It is my job to look at people's money every day. It is my job to know what's going on in the economy and, you know, where do we feel like we can go from here? And that's really what I'm super excited about talking about tonight. So let's talk a little bit about the state of the economy. Can we do that for just a second? So I see you guys in my chat. I'm so excited for all you guys that are jumping on the call tonight. Now, let's talk about where we're at, right? We've been through recessions before as a country. We have been through market downturns before. We've been through what we call a bear market, which is when the market turns more than 20% down during any time period. And so I'm saying to all of you, here's where we at as, as a, a country. You know what? A few weeks ago, and, and the truth of the matter is this came very fast from like zero to 100. You know, a few weeks ago, everybody was kind of living their daily life. And then all of a sudden, um, coronavirus kind of took over not only um, the, in the U.S., but also all across the globe, right? And so we have now, for the first time, seen um, different things over and over and over about just every single day about, okay, here's where we're at now, and here's where we're at now. Most states and counties right now are going to um, go into lockdown. So I know even here in Orlando, Florida, where I'm broadcasting live, as of tomorrow night, if you don't have a, if you have a non-essential job, then you are going to be asked to stay home for the next two weeks. And so again, all of these things are impacting um, our areas. They're impacting travel. They're impacting um, you know, companies as a whole, like, you know, big companies in, in their respect of, they just can't operate at the moment. But the truth of the matter is, here's where I want to talk about the opportunity. Companies are in a much better position than they've been in years when it comes to their growth and how they have been growing. And so when I talk about opportunities tonight, we're going to definitely talk through that a little bit. 
just because you know one area is not doing well doesn't mean other areas are not doing well and the other part of that is you also have to look at where are those companies going to be in three months from now in six months from now think about your own company for a second here what are opportunities that you guys have in your own businesses at this very moment that and, and again i'm going to dive a little deeper into each of those but think about that for a moment what is your business going like, to look like three months from now six months from now a year from now even five years from now i want to talk about that because guess what there's things you're going to do today there's things you're going to do tomorrow that are going to impact you over the next three months six months a year that are really going to financially bless you and so i don't want you guys to forget that there is opportunity even amongst opposition even when it looks like everything is going haywire you're going to see that there are opportunities out there that you can grab a hold of and be able to benefit you in the long term for your business so don't shrink back right now is really what i'm going to say as a fellow business owner um as a friend to you guys, as a coach to you guys, and as just a financial advisor. This is not the time to shrink back. This is the time to go and get it. And I mean that more than like I have ever said it before. When I tell you these are the times that make millionaires, these are the times that, that bless people so much financially that they don't, I mean, it, it's they take this fear mentality and they turn it into something amazing. Warren Buffett, man, he's somebody I follow all the time, especially because of the stock market and those things. He has this, this, this major, you know, quote out there, you know, um, when others are fearful is when you need to be strong. And when others are strong, probably where you need to be fearful. So six months ago, when everything was just booming and, and doing great, he was stocking cash to the side, taking his profits off things. Now, here we are six months later, he has that cash that's sitting on the sidelines and he's taking advantage of some of the major opportunities, not just in the market, but across the board. And we're going to go through that. So the state of the economy is where you think your mindset is. I'm just going to be honest with you. If your mindset is sitting in fear right now, then your state is not going to be the same. Okay. You've got to go and change your mindset to think, okay, Maybe some of you are on here and you've been trying to do your business and you've been trying to work at the same time. And maybe you just got laid off. That's just the truth of the matter. There are thousands and thousands of people getting laid off right now. If you don't switch your mindset to think, you know what, how can I turn this negative into a positive? These are the times that's going to make a difference in the long term for where we're at. And so I want to tell you right now, I'm actually, and I, when I talk to my clients every day, I say the same thing. I'm very excited about the opportunities that I'm able to get today that I haven't been able to get for years. I'm very excited, even personally, other investments, things that I'm doing, which we're going to walk through real estate and those sort of things, other areas that I'm really looking to grow in, I'm ready. I am so ready for what the opportunity is over this next few weeks, um, going into three months, six months, so on and so forth. So I know I kind of said a lot in that state of economy. You guys are in this chat. Um, talk, talk to me a little bit. Okay, you know, tell me a little bit about what you're thinking. Let's, let's, you know, for lack of better word, I want this to be a little bit interactive and I'm going to share as I talk on here, um, some of your questions, some of your concerns, some of your fears, but I want to be able to, to change that for you guys and shift it to something that can definitely be more positive and growth oriented for the long run. So if you have questions as we are going through, please take your time, drop those questions into the chat. I will answer them along the way. I don't want anybody to feel left out this evening. You're in your questions really matter. Um, for all those that are in the chat, please remember to change it so that all the panelists and attendees can see your um, comments. So basically when you're posting, make sure you change it so the chat shows to all the panelists and, um, and the participants so everybody can be able to see that. All right, so here's the question, are you ready? So again, maybe you weren't ready for this virus, you know, and I really, I, I, again, if anybody is sick on here or if anybody has family members are sick, any of those sort of things, we pray for them. We, we declare the healing power over them right now. I mean, I'm just telling you that, you know, the, I'm not mistaken that some people really are sick and those things are definitely there, but I really want to talk to you about where you're at in your business and are you ready, right? 
where's your business at three weeks into this coronavirus um, epidemic across the country? You know, we've had businesses that order from overseas that can't get product right now, right? So here's the question, what are we gonna do now? Are we going to look for other opportunities? Are we going to look for other areas in order to, to be able to grow? And listen, those are real serious questions right now. People still want products, that's not going away. Um, but what are you gonna do? Are you ready right now? Are you prepared uh, for what's happening, okay? All right, so let's jump into, here's the things I wanna kind of touch base on tonight. I'm gonna talk about real estate. I'm gonna talk about investments. I'm going to talk about vacations, right? Come on. Listen, I know, I don't know, I'm probably not the only one that got their vacation just kind of slashed in the last few weeks. So I want to talk about that. There's opportunities there, right? I want to talk about your businesses, right? There's going to be so many things business-wise, contract-wise, things to look out for. I'm going to talk about the government relief, what's out there at the moment. And then I'm going to talk a little bit at the end about the stimulus package as it's kind of you know, going through for final approval. So I want to talk about all of those things this evening. I may not have every answer, um, but believe me, I've got a lot of them. And so even if we get on this conversation and we don't get your answer, jump back in or, or send me a message privately. We will definitely make sure you get the right information. All right. So let's talk about real estate. Let's start there for a second. I know I have a lot of people um, that like to invest in real estate, um, but not only that, maybe your business, you were looking to buy a building. Maybe you were looking to um, do something differently when it comes to real estate, meaning you were going to buy a property personally. Maybe you're going to invite in some investment properties. Maybe you're going to invest in what we like to call um, areas that are um, being regentrified. Listen, to this is now a time, okay? This is a time where now that interest rates have been slashed almost to zero, okay? This is a great time to be looking at buying real estate. And there are so many different avenues that you can do that in. So I don't want people to shrink back and say, you know, I'm not sure I should do that just yet, or you know, maybe because this happened or that happened. Again, you all were fearfully and wonderfully made. You need to use that fearlessness to jump out and see what the opportunities are right now, okay? And let's, let's walk through that just a little bit. So number one, if, you're, if you, haven't, you don't own a property, that, this may be the right time for you to just jump in and, and go out and grab some property, okay? But, but in addition to that, for those of you that are doing real estate investing and those sort of things, um, you know, while rates are super low, this might be a great time to go out and get financing for a property. And that way you can begin to build your portfolio in that avenue. I always tell people, connect with a really good mortgage broker, connect with a really good real estate agent. We have some amazing ones that are in this group, but listen, there's two things that are, that are probably going to be impactful for you right now. Number one is yes, that on one side, we see all of these um, rates that have been slashed and those sort of things. So that's gonna be beneficial. If you are, don't have the financing up front. you're gonna be able to get that. But the other part to this is that there's gonna be some investment opportunities out there that we may not have seen before. One of the things that I'm looking for, again, I'm actually looking, actually, gosh, I wish I had it up there. I have these signs that says she buys houses. And, um, and so when I, when I literally put these signs out all over the city, it says she buys houses. When I put those signs up, there are people right now that can't make their mortgage payment. So there are people right now that may struggle through this season that might be holding onto property that they may want to sell now just because of the way their financial situations are. So I, you know, as an investor in real estate, I'm looking for those people. I'm calling those people to find out, hey, where are my opportunities right now? Maybe they didn't want to get rid of that property six months ago, but it's a very different season at this point in time. So it may be an opportunity for me not only to help them and give them cash, but in addition to that, for me to pick up some nice real estate along the way that could be beneficial. And listen, I'm telling you they're out there. I was just talking to my girlfriend a couple of weeks ago. She bought two um, properties in Jacksonville. I didn't say one. I said two properties in Jacksonville in a regentrification area. She paid a total of less than $30,000 for both properties. Plus, in addition to that, because it is a regentrification area, she's going to be able to get um, money from the local city there to be able to help 
put money into those properties and get them up to where they need to be. And so when I say that, by the time she's all said and done, she bought the properties for less than 30, 30,000, two of them, the city is going to give her about 40,000 per property in order to help um, rehab those properties. And now she can turn around and either rent them or sell them. I mean, I think they're great rental opportunities, but listen, these are the opportunities that are out there. You have to be able to jump and find them. I don't know every bit and pieces around it all. There's so many different areas of real estate. I don't know all of them. That's why I'm saying you have to have these people um, now that you're reaching out to and getting good information, real estate agents. You also got to have, you know, and so somebody said, where can I find these opportunities like this? Connect with local real estate agents, right? Ask them about regentrification areas, houses in those areas um, that may you know they may be run down i'm not going to say that it's going to be a perfect situation but they are opportunities that you can jump on um and same for mortgage brokers if you need financing maybe you don't have that kind of cash on hand uh, you know i would hope that everybody in this group does but if you don't have those kind of cash on hand then i would you know encourage you to have a good mortgage broker available that can help you with financing and those sort of things. Last case scenario, you can always do what we call a hard money lender. Um, those hard money lenders will lend you money, but they usually do um, um, lend it for a short period of time. And in addition to that, the, the rates are usually pretty high. So, um, but that is an opportunity also if, if that's, you know, a route that you want to go. But again, I'm just giving you this, the nuggets, right? This is not for me to just, you know, throw it all out there. I'm telling you some things that I'm doing to, to be able to benefit during this time frame and I really want you guys to jump out there too and find the right opportunities for your business all right business or even personally let me say it both ways because again you can create a whole nother stream of income if you have several you know rental properties that are bringing you income each and every month okay all right so everybody good on that was there anybody else that had questions in that area um Odette I did see your your information I'm going to come back to that question in just a few minutes so I did see your question in there any other questions there we go I saw your coach Lanicia like I said connect with some real estate agents um, and again if you, if you call one and they don't have the information call somebody else right there are agents in every city every town that deal with specific things and so I generally like to stay in the Florida market, um, even though I have looked at other markets like in Texas and, and West Virginia, those sort of things. But again, there's definitely programs that they have available that you can find that information. Investments. This is my bread and butter. This is what I do definitely every single day. Um, I, I'm going to tell you guys up front, I am a licensed financial advisor, so I do not go out and make blanket statements about which stocks to buy and when to buy them, those sort of things. Um, you know, you guys will be able to get the gist of it from my conversation today, um, because I generally like to know everybody's situation. I like to know their risk level. Um, I like to know what we're trying to achieve before I give those recommendations. So that's my disclaimer to start this conversation, because I'm not just going to throw out stock ideas for you guys today. Um, you know, that's a more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation that we can have and you're going to get some of those offers at the end of this this time today so let's walk through this for a second investments my goodness so the stock market has dropped considerably over the last three weeks almost 40 percent like i said we entered what we like to call a bear market so air market is when the market dropped percent in um, a time period. So we've had that happen. We actually had two of the worst um, days in the stock market last week since 1987. And then we followed it by two of the best days um, in the market. So two really positive days the last two days. And so we're, we're kind of, we're not back yet. We've just found starting to bounce back a little bit. Um, and a lot of that is because of the conversation around the stimulus package and those sort of things. Let me say, the ride's not over. We still have earnings reports that are gonna come out in April. There's still a lot of unknown information. Um, let's just be honest. I mean, this week we will probably have more cases reported uh, than it, before as far as the coronavirus is concerned. And that's not necessarily because there's more cases that, than there was before. It's just now the states have actually got the testing from um, the federal is the issuement across the board. And so guess what? More people are getting tested. So if more people are getting tested, we're going to have more cases out there. I think I just heard this morning, or actually this afternoon in Florida, I think there's now over 2,000 cases 
kids in the state of Florida. I cannot stress this enough. Um, and, and I think even as I listen to the news and I hear different things, you guys have to listen to the attorney general when he's saying, stay in your homes. He's not saying it because he wants everybody to stay home, but he's saying it because the, the sooner we can get this under control, the sooner we can get out of this mess, okay? And so, but here's the thing. Even when we've had and we've had epidemics before, just so you know, this is not, not the first time we've had epidemics happen. But if you go back to every market downturn, every time the market goes down, not, not one time, not two times, but 100% of the time, the market has recovered. Now, yes, I will be very honest, some companies don't recover, and we definitely know that happens. Okay, but the truth of the matter is many companies do recover and they are actually better for it in the long run. So let me think, let me talk through this for a second. There's opportunities out there that um, some companies are actually going to benefit because of this, this epidemic that's going on. I mean, you know, I, I feel for our doctors and our nurses that are out there, but the truth of the matter is the healthcare industry as a whole um, is going to, you know, they, for this time period, they're going to flourish. And so that's an area of opportunity. I have no idea what this toilet paper issue is. If somebody could please explain it to me, I would love to know. But let me just say, I mean, I know I can't go to my store and find toilet paper. And my goodness, I can imagine those companies that have sold out of all of their toilet paper, what their earnings report is going to look like next quarter. Quarter. And so, you know, that's another area of opportunity. Um, looking at companies that are doing the testing or issuing the testing. Um, but I also want to say this, you know, we have many, many travel companies, tourism companies, you know, hotels, all of those things across the board. And you guys can just use your brain. Think about those big names that you know have been around for a hundred years plus that can get through this, right? This is a short blip in the millions and millions of dollars that they bring in every every single year. And guess what? Most of those stocks are trading 50% or down right now. And so let me tell you, when I say, is there an opportunity there? Absolutely is. I am not calling my clients right now saying sell or let's move more conservative or any of those things. My, I will tell you 99%, I, I will say 1% because you always have your off, off ones, but 99% of my clients that I've been calling over the last two to three weeks, we have been buying. When I even talk about my firm, we made it, you know, the, I'm on calls every day with them. They made an announcement that 75% of the transactions that are coming in are for people to buy. So let me tell you this, if you are not looking at those opportunities right now, you're going to miss the boat because generally the market does recover and it it usually is pretty quickly. Um, I was reading some statistics. If you don't follow me, please do. I'm posting all the time about um, things that happen during down markets, but in most down markets, it takes roughly 181 days to recover. That is roughly six months, folks. So listen, it, we will we will come back from this. There's no doubt in my mind that we will come back from this. The question is, where will you be at when we do? You know, if you're sitting back and not paying attention or saying, oh, I'm going to wait till things get better, you will have missed the opportunity because by the time things get better, those prices are going to be right back up. I see Andrea, she said the TP issue is a lot of people trying to cash in, buying it up and price gouging. Yeah, that probably could definitely be it too. I, I was looking at my neighborhood chat um, and, and, you know, the package that makes no sense i have to have a favor in my house i know i'm fine um i feel like if worse comes to worse there are showers in my home and we'll figure out other ways to deal with it so um but just being you know going back to more of a serious note look for the opportunities people i mean don't again this is not the time to shrink back there are amazing companies out there if you are really serious and want to start looking at investing in those sort of things i'm going to give you um some information at the end we can definitely talk one-on-one -on -one. Um, but as coach christina with ceo chicks take advantage of some of those opportunities um, from major companies and you'll be able to get some of these you know stocks investments whatever you decide to do a lot cheaper than you could even just three months ago. And that's really where the opportunity is going to exist. Okay. All right. So I've talked about real estate. I've talked about investments. Let's talk about um, your business contracts. So let me say this. So businesses right now are scrambling not only to um, 
look for where they're going to come out of this. But in addition to that, I mean, they're doing layoffs and so many other things. One of the things I'm going to tell you that businesses are looking at right now, especially while they have this type of downtime, is their contracts. Where can they cut costs? And so I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm just going to use an example. If you have a cleaning company, right? Man, if you can go to some local um, businesses or some even some major companies, restaurants, businesses, and those sort of things, and cut their cleaning costs right now, and I'm not telling you to give it away for free, okay? Don't don't make sure you heard me correctly, okay? I'm not telling you to give it away for free, but let me tell you, if somebody came to my office right now for my cleaning contract, they could cut my cost by 20 25 percent. I would definitely do it because guess what? In this environment, everybody's going Going to be looking to save money so your business needs to be ready and positioned for that don't shrink back and not call those businesses now thinking oh they don't have no money because are you kidding me these are multi-million dollar companies that have billions of dollars sitting on the sideline if you as a business owner can step in and show them a better opportunity for your business they will look at it they will come running back to you so again be reputable be amazing be ready for a pitch like you never pitched before but but think about the big contracts that are out there right now those companies are looking to try to shred shred as much cost as they can over these next few weeks they're going to be looking at their contracts and so i don't want y'all to miss that opportunity because you didn't think it through or you didn't think about what you're you're doing um, for those of you that are on here right now and have businesses, you know, think about any, anywhere that you can get in, especially in the larger scale of things, where can you really help them cut costs? And that's what they're looking at. Maybe it's, it's time for you get, to get in on the ground in to build your multi-million dollar or billion dollar um, idea into something amazing. And so really do walk through um, how you can help some of these businesses in cutting some of their costs. Um, I can't say that enough. I, I think businesses across the board are going to be looking to cut some costs. There are people that are still working, even if they're working from home. Uh, we live in an environment nowadays where most people can just pick up their laptop and work from home. And so I want you guys to be able to be the ones doing that too. So, so review some contracts um, for some large businesses. Go in there and, and you know, for lack of better word, I tell people all the time, pull your big girl panties up, you know, put your best suit on, open your, you know, open your mind and, and start calling. Start calling, start calling, start calling, ask them, hey, you know, I'd like to send you an offer on, on you know, whatever it is you are. Like I said, if it's a cleaning company, I don't know why I have that in my mind right now, but I can just think about that across the board where you could really rack up some big accounts right now. I see, okay, so Odette, I see my business is my own, hold on, let me come back, let me read here. My business is my own, oh, I'm gonna move this over a little bit. My business is my own label of herbal tea, specialty tea, immune system building, stress relief, womb tea, fertility, scentic organic candles, robe, home fragrance, later we'll add linen and beauty. So, um, so you're something where you're just directly dealing with people on a day-to-day -day basis. and and. Why would it not be a good time for this, Odette? Let me ask you that. I mean, one of the first things you said is it's immune system building, stress relief, um, womb tea. I mean, people need, I'll go back to your next question. I, I saw it. Uh, people need those things in their life right now. So yes, as, as listen, I don't know about anybody else, but I went to go buy, I, I like to buy emergency whenever, you know, there's things going around like the flu or colds or those sort of things. I could not find any. And so guess what? I went online to sign search other ideas for how to boost my immune system and my children's immune system. And so absolutely, I think it's a time for this. You know, if anything else, I would be creating that more than anything, you know, over and over and over again. We have an amazing branding specialist, our own coach, Colleen, um, the head of the CEO Chicks. Um, she's an amazing business strategist. If you haven't had a, a you know, brand strategist, if you ever had the time to sit down with her, she's incredible at putting some of those ideas together. Um, schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching with her. You can certainly do that. And man, yes, I think it's a great time for that. Um, Odette also said, I started my business in January, but the pandemic can't get me inventory. Should I still go ahead and get some inventory in the, U in the U.S. that will cost me um, twice or should I wait? Well, let me ask. So the question is, how much are you buying? And like I said, this is where you look for the opportunity because if you can't, I would ask if you could buy it in bulk. 
So that way you can reduce your cost, not necessarily pay twice as much. You may pay more because you're buying it here right now. But again, you don't know their situation. So if they're having a hard time getting product out even here in the USA, and you know that you want to buy it, what what bulk size can you buy in to drive that price down? Um, again, I am saying to you, don't miss the opportunity have those tough conversations in order to get the price point where you want it. And guess what? In the meantime, that might mean you need to raise your prices a little bit um, or, and I'm not even going to say you have to raise your prices, you may need to offset it for now. So that way, uh, three months from now or six months ago from when you can get the product a little bit cheaper, you'll be able to do that and that will, you'll already have built customer loyalty and people that believe in what you're doing. And so um, again, you know, I wouldn't shrink back from this, Odette, if, if, and I'm just talking to her because she's the one that was putting the information in the comments here, but I'm telling you don't shrink back for it, go for it 100%. Um, everything that you think you can't do in your mind, I promise you, you can do. And that's not just for her, that's for all of you that are sitting in on this call or gonna listen to the replay. Everything that you think you can't do, there is a way around. Sometimes you can't think it through. So guess what? That's why we have coaching sessions. That's why we have these Classes. That's why, you know, we sit down with people. Sometimes you need somebody else's mind in it to really get you to where you want to be. And so I, I'm saying that to say, you know, take yourself out of the equation for a little bit. I'm glad. Sometimes, listen, I've been scared too. Every woman I think on this call has been scared sometimes to jump forward and make the, the bold decision to just jump out there and see what happens. You know, um, I say all the time, you have to leap. You have to leap. If you don't leap, you're never going to know if you can even make it to the other side. But my God, what if you make it to the other side? You know, what, what happens in that space? There's such freedom when you get fear and, and, and being scared out of your brain. Um, and, and again, we've all been there. I, I know I've been, you know, my hands, you know, sweaty, palms shaking, all that sort of stuff. I've been there, that, that whole Eminem song, right? I've been there where I've sat in a room and just scared and realized that when I did my pitch and I was honest and I did it the right way and I, you know, put forth my full effort, I'm always amazed that people come back and say, I really like how you fought through your process. You handled every detail. We hadn't heard anything like it. It was like you weren't even selling to us. You were just giving us a clear plan. That is what people are looking for in this stage. Don't just be a salesperson. Come on, there's a million salespeople out there. You are solving somebody's need. So focus on that. You don't need to just focus on, I need to make the sale, I need to make the sale. Anybody can do that, okay? I'm, I can, I'm telling you, my five-year-old can go out and do that. But I will tell you, those people who really get to know who they're trying to deal with, build the relationship. That takes a little work on the front end, okay? But once you do it, Man, does it create a consistent over and over and over again uh, business for yourself. You'll be the person they refer to. You'll be the person that gets to the next level. I'm saying to you guys that are on this call, and I know I see some people jumping in, you know, take some time to really get yourself um, to a bold position to just put yourself out there. There's 27 of you guys on this call. So again, if you are in the chat, please feel free, type your questions in. Um, I know there's, you know, lots of people that have thousands of people register. And so I'm telling y'all to leap, you know, don't, don't shrink back. Don't be afraid of what's going to happen next. Okay. All right. So that's the contract part of it. Now um, let's jump over for a second. Oops. Let's jump over for a second um, to some, um, some of the things that may be going on, like from a state perspective, local perspective, federal funding, those sort of things, okay? And I'm just going to touch base on this. I don't know every loan program that's going to come out. I don't know every local one, state one, all those different things. But I will tell you, guess what? They're out there and they're out there now. And they are going to... Um, they're going to minimize some of the requirements so that they can get money out. And so that's a great thing for people right now that are in business. Maybe sometime before you didn't qualify for some of those programs that were out there. But guess what? You may qualify now. And so 
I say that to say this, okay? Oh, yes, Andrew, I saw it. My mantra is do it afraid. I'm stepping out there more now, absolutely. So I wanna say this, um, local governments, state governments, even federal funding is going to be coming down the pipeline for businesses. Not only big businesses, but also small businesses. Small businesses represent a huge amount of the daily things that drive our US economy. And so I'm gonna tell you again, this is a time to be bold. You may not be able to do everything in one day, because I'm giving you guys a lot of information, okay? But man, if you just break it down to what you can do today, what can I handle today, okay? For the next, you know, what I would tell you guys, especially for the next seven days, even if you just take each category that we talked about and focus on that that day, by the time you come out of this seven days, you will have found millions of dollars. Come on, I need somebody to actually believe that, okay? You will have found millions of dollars out there available for your businesses. And so I want you all to jump out there and look into what are those things that are coming out right now? What are those things from your local government? What are some local funding that's happening in your city or your county that is available to you? Then look at the state level. The state is gonna give out money to local businesses across the board. Find out where that funding is and do it. Listen, a lot of people are going to be posting on Facebook and those different things, and that's great. But you know what? I'm definitely a believer that just go to the horse's mouth. Call the local government and ask them, hey, I'm a small business owner. I am looking for funding um, to get me through this time. What is, you know, what's the availability? Who do I need to talk to? You know, call, you know, email, whatever you got to do during this time time frame to get to the right person there's going to be lots of money that is going to be passing back and forth during this time frame and whether that is just free money that's out there which there's always free money just so you guys know there's millions of dollars that do, do not get used every year so there's always money out there um, whether you do some sort of small business loan those rates are going to be insanely low for the first time in a long time and so that might be something that you need to do especially if you're looking to grow or expand your business um, again, kind of going back to what we were talking about earlier, if you need to buy in bulk, but maybe you don't have that funding right now, maybe you do a small business loan for this time period and pay it off over the next year. I'm always telling people, be very smart though, when you do decide to borrow money, um, try to think in your mindset, how can I pay this back over the next year? Don't just jump out there and um, don't just jump out there and not do it. Really, how do you fund the free money? Again, you find the free money many different ways. There's grants out there. If you don't know like a grant writer or somebody that does grant programming, any of those sort of things, that might be a good place. Coach Jen, I was just gonna go there next. SPA.gov is another great place to find information about money. Um, most of them want to know what is your revenue before they give you anything. My business is new, no income, what can I do? Again, Odette, maybe at this time, that might be a, um, a requirement that may be a little, basically lowered as far as what the options are. Meaning before it used to be pretty much you had to have two years of revenue in order to do that. I'm hearing that some of those, those qualifications are going to come down in order to keep some small businesses going or even start some small businesses starting up. And so I'm saying that, that you got to go out and find the information. I'm not going to have, I, you know, I haven't been able to research every single funding at every single level, especially all over the United States, but you've got to go out there and get this information, okay? So maybe your state doesn't have free money, okay? So if you can't do that, now they're talking about giving a certain amount of money. Guess what? Invest that back into your business. I don't care what it is, but definitely think through your process. Now, I'm not saying don't pay your bills, but guess what? I know for me, and this is just me and what I'm thinking, if my mortgage company is going to let me take a month off and not pay interest, if my car loan is going to let me take a month off and not pay interest, if the government's about to give me money, man, I'm adding up the dollars in my head and I'm thinking, oh, okay, I could probably come up with four or $5,000 this month to just invest into my business. And so those are the things I'm telling you to think about because those are opportunities. Now, don't get yourself in a hole. Don't get yourself in a bad place, but, but look at where you can get this funding from. And don't just, I mean, 
I was thinking the other day, ah, you know, I'm doing fine. I don't need them to, to you know, um, cancel my mortgage payment for the month or whatever, or three months or whatever they're planning on doing for people. Um, but you know what I did? I just called up my mortgage company. I said, hey, you know, tell me a little bit about what the choices are. Like, I mean, how do I even get this funding? Well, I found out number one, the first thing is really all you have to say is because of the coronavirus. You have to say those words. If you don't say those words, you're not going to get the information. I will tell you that first and foremost. But secondly to that, you know, they were like, yes, we're doing, you know, somewhere between three months to a year, depending on where the situation you're on and what's going on, those sort of things. And because I do expect, you know, my income fluctuates with the market. So my income might be lower for a month or two. Um, you know, hey, so what are my options in that? Oh, well, we could defer your, you know, your payment for three months, no interest. I'm thinking in my head, you know, again, I can add these dollars up to, to put back into my business, not pay any interest. And guess what? Now that is now generating additional income for me in the future. And I can pay it back at that point in time if I want to. So again, just so many options and opportunities. If you have a high interest rate on your home loan, might be a time to think about reconsidering or refinancing. Um, again, I'm not always a fan of that if it doesn't bring you significant um, benefits, but I'm not going to say that, that you don't have to do that because your rate might get extremely lower. You have to remember the closing costs and things like that being added in, um, but if you're going to lower your rate, one or two percent might be worth looking at um, at this time. I'm not going to encourage you taking money out of your real estate and those sort of things. I mean, only if you're absolutely sure that it's going to benefit you in the long run. I'm not a big fan of that if um, if it's going to hurt you in the long run. Let me say it that way. Because I don't want people to get back in the same situation they had in 2008. But I definitely, you know, if this is a scenario or an option that you're thinking through, let's sit down. Let's talk about it. Um, let's look at your individual situation and your track record and see what options you have available for that. Okay? Um, Julie said, I've noticed there's little funding available for a business that is for profit. Again, depending on the business and how much profit you're making, what they're looking for is how are you going to expand? So people don't want to invest in something if they're not going to see the, ex the expansion of what you're doing. And what I mean by that is if I'm going to go back to Miss Odette that sells tea. If you're going to do tea, but now you've decided I want to expand to um, a you know coffee line. Well, those are very similar. If you already got a good track record here, maybe your track record will be good with coffee too. Again, I'm just giving examples, and I'm willing to invest in that because you are a profitable business. So again, those are things that you got to look at across the board. Um, but you're going to see some of those 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 hard standards that have been in there before that um, couldn't get people funding um, a lot of states federal government you know federal funding those sort of th things are going to be lowered during this time so man I, i'm hoping you guys are liking this if you are please give me a thumbs up on the screen or something just let me know that you are taking down this information and that it's blessing you please and thank you awesome awesome all right, last thing here that I want to touch base on is the stimulus package. So it's not finalized yet, definitely going back and forth a little bit, but we definitely expect it to happen here very, very shortly. Um, a deal definitely sounds like they have been reached, but I want to say this, that, um, you know, again, when this package comes out, it is going to be thousands of pages. First and foremost, let me say that. And so you really have to do a little bit of research to see what things in the stimulus package are going to be able to benefit your business or benefit you personally. Okay. So um, I'm glad, guys. Thanks so much for putting that in there. I saw Rochelle, Odette, Kay, Tabitha, Veronica. I'm trying to get all y'all. Um, Nadia, I saw all y'all in there. Thank you so much for doing my thumbs up. So stimulus package. Listen, ladies, again, you want to go in and look for where your opportunities are. Um, some things, now listen, I always tell people the government is not just giving out money so that they're not going to get nothing in return. That's not how stimulus packages work. Um, there is a benefit to them in the long run. And so I say that just like, let's go back to 2008 when we did a stimulus package for many of the major banks. That money was loaned to the banks and the banks had to, first of all, every bank had to take it. Number one, you didn't get the option. You had to take it. But number two is that over time, you had to pay that money back. And so, um, and you had to pay it back with interest. And so some people paid it back. Some of those banks paid it back immediately. Some people, it took a little bit longer. And when I say that it took a little bit longer, when they did, they got, you know, they had to pay the interest with that. 
So again, some of those same things are going to happen with this stimulus package. So funding, again, may go out to businesses, but there probably is going to be a backside to that where some sort of interest rate is going to be charged that has to be paid back, generally over a period of three to five years. And so I don't, and again, I don't have all the details. I know we're talking about, you know, every household getting somewhere between a thousand to two thousand dollars and different amount per kids and those different things. I don't know how all of that is gonna work out, okay? I'm just being very honest with you guys. But what I do know is we are gonna get it, so you definitely wanna utilize that to your advantage now. But that also may mean that you have to pay that back. And what I mean by that is generally in your taxes, that might have to mean that it comes back out a different way. And so don't just think that it's gonna be there and then there's no way, it, something's gonna happen in that, okay? So I say that to say, just be mindful of everything that you take in, be very mindful of that. The government's not just giving free money. There is something they're going to get in return. And so, but especially if you need to utilize some things right now to get you through this time frame, because like I said in the beginning, we will come out of this. We always have come out of it. You've got to be optimistic. You've got to look for those opportunities. Most of this is about your mindset. I always tell people money is about mindset. You either going for it or you're not going for it. But your mindset is what's going to shift you into that direction. And so take that information, you know, utilize the stimulus package to your benefit. Oh, my goodness. I know I've talked about a lot today. Um, but listen, we talked about real estate. We talked about your investments. We talked about vacations. We talked about, oh, sorry about that, guys. We've talked about, um, oh, goodness. Let me make sure I am sharing with you. I lost you for a second there. Uh, give me just a second. Let me resume that share. There we go. I hope everybody can still see that. We've talked about business contracts, government relief. Um, we've talked about the stimulus package. And so let me say this, that going next, you know, here's what happens. It's really about what you go do right now. Okay. What are you going to do right now in order to put you into that best position in the next few weeks? And so let me go through that for you for just a few minutes, okay? A couple of things I said I wanted you to do in this call. Number one is homework, okay? First of all, homework for you guys. Take the next. First of all, we're doing these calls. Make sure that you've got the information. I know I'm going to put it up here in a few minutes, but we're doing these pretty regularly. Jump on them. Get the information. But take the time now to go out and do the work for it. Don't just write all these notes down and put it away and try to come back from a month from now and think that the same strategies are going to work. The economy is going to be changed in a month from now, and you would have missed the boat. And so take the time now the next seven days look at each of these categories that i have said through that okay each one of those categories and go out and do something right now that's going to change change your business or change your life okay if you wanted to get into real estate go out and get the information now if you've never invested before or maybe you have invested and you know you need to pick up some good opportunities go out and do that right now if you um, or any of those things want to get together and I'm going to talk about that in just a second We're gonna you know, this is the time to jump out and go do that All right, so I want to encourage you guys to make sure you're getting that information and get those that those Go out and get the things done that you need to get done. Sorry. I'm getting a little tongue twisted there Okay, um, but I want y'all to do it. This, like I said, don't waste time, you know, take the time now to go do that let me tell you, let me go through a couple of things. So somebody asked me about costs and those sort of things. So let's, let's walk through that for a second. So, so first and foremost, if you are not a CEO chick, this is the time to become one. We are here to help you. We are doing a test drive of all the membership right now for $1 for the next 30 days. And so when you use the code Dominate, you get to be a full member of CEOs for the next 30 days for just $1. So you can see what we're all about. You can get the information that we're sharing and all those different things. If you, you know, if you didn't know before, you wanted to know now, I know you guys have a dollar. And so jump on and do that right now. You want to, like I said, you want to use the code Dominate. So please make sure that you do. Um, this, after the 
30 days, it is going to roll to our normal pricing, and that depends on which package that you do. Um, it includes four masterminds a month, discounts um, on events, free merchandise, an online community to support you, um, and coaching team that is here to serve you. And so if you wanted to learn more, this is the time to jump in and learn more. I'm going to get there. See, she already said, where do I sign up? I'm in. Um, CEOChicksOnline.com backslash offers. <laughs> okay. And I know one of our coaches are going to put that information in the chat in just a second. But come on, you guys, if you are interested in learning what we do or how we do it, we were businesswomen just like you. We've been through the ups. We've been through the downs. Um, we've just been able to be very successful in what we're doing. And so um, we're trying to share that knowledge with other women so they don't make the same pitfalls and mistakes we did. So please jump in and, um, and become part of what we're doing. We're definitely here um, to help. We do have offers, CEO Chick online.com um, for the offer. So let me tell you what I am willing to do for all of my CEO chicks, for all the people who have jumped on these calls or even watched the replay. Um, like I said, we're here to help. I am going to do free financial reviews with myself or a qualified financial advisor. Um, for people who have come in and go to CEOChicksOnline.com backslash offer, offers, plural, um, if you go on there and um, sign up, let, you know, let us know that you were in the class, um, then you know, that's connected to my booking page. We will do a free financial review with you guys. Um, that will just help you kind of get an understanding of where you're at and I'll kind of walk through that. Where would you like to be? And we'll kind of get you all together so that way um, you can kind of figure out what it is you're trying to do, um, get you some, some options. And then again, you decide from there which direction you're going. You ready to invest? You ready to do this with your business? Those sort of things. But, but I'm gonna offer that for free with myself or another qualified financial advisor. Um, while these free classes are going on, okay? And so, um, again, we're just here to help. We want you guys to get the information. And so I can tell you we've been, this is, you know, unprecedented times where we are really doing as much as we can to help women business owners. I love men too, don't get me wrong, but we want to help every single one of you succeed. And so I don't want you guys to miss this time, okay? All right, so I have talked about CEO Chicks Online. I have talked about the free offer. I have given you guys a ton of information. While I'm wrapping up, if there are any final questions, please, if one of the coaches could please share um, the information um, for that right there um, in, the, in the chat. That way people have the opportunity to just click on it and go. Um, listen, this is go time. Woo! I cannot say that enough for you guys. It's your time to move forward. Let's go out and make this money. Let's go out and help each other succeed as businesses. Never feel ashamed to share your gift with the world. I will tell you all that a million times over. You've got to be able to share your gift. You've got to be able to share um, what you're doing. And so this is a time. Let's collaborate together. Let's go. Let's get what we need done. I'm so excited for each and every one of you. I am just declaring the blessings and favor over your businesses. I am declaring that this will be a divine shift in what you're gonna do in the next three to six months. I am declaring that I'm gonna hear report after report after report of the success that came out of this time frame. Listen, don't shrink back when everybody else is being fearful. You guys are amazing. And let me tell y'all, we have the coaching team here that is ready and available to get you to where you need to go. And so I'm really, really super excited for each and every one of you. Um, it's go time, ladies. I, I thank you all for jumping on the call. I did not see any additional questions. I did see Colleen has brand consultations available. Um, I would highly encourage that. Um, coach Jen is a great business strategist. Listen, go online, learn all about the coaches. The, we have the most amazing women I know around. And so don't forget, I mean, we've got so many, um, so many other of these coming up. I don't want you guys to miss any of them. Um, I'm glad you jumped on tonight. I'm glad I was able to share with you. Listen, I kept it at an hour. You guys can go and know your family still get yourself together and um let's go ladies i look forward to hearing more from you inbox me make sure to sign up with my son on, on the session um that way we have a chance to connect looking forward to talking to each and every one of you bless you